I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? <sighs> If I can avoid it. No. Holly's sister. Lily. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he... If he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! What monsters are you? What horrible, evil, villainous, warped monsters are you? Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Oh God, Bigby! This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Bigby, wait! When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Please, Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. I'm here for one reason. And it's not to eat your fucking food. Really? Yeah. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna... Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Well, Sheriff, for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You're destroying this town. You've been doing it for ages. Destroying this town? What on earth do you mean? What the hell do you think I mean? Slavery? Kidnapping? Extortion? Murder? What would you call the wholesale corruption of Fable Town? I would call it the baseless accusation of a desperate sheriff. How are you certain this isn't some conspiracy against me? I'm a well-connected man. Well-moneyed. People do like to take their shots at me. Who would try to pull that on you? Oh, I don't know. Fables with a grudge. People who want a stake in my shops and services. But I can understand the confusion. And I'm truly sorry about the trouble all this has caused you. And I hope you believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. 
The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late, I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you and to assure you that it's over with. You really don't need to worry yourself further. An unfortunate bit of business? You're gonna tell me right now who killed him. Sheriff, I have complete respect for you and your job. I hope you know that. But I simply can't divulge that information. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No. I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? Tweedledee, please. You know who did it. Now tell me. Fuck you, Bigby. You think I'm scared of you? <laughs> You're nothing more than a- That's enough! I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. However, like I said, I'll be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie, you got what you wanted, so just sit down now. Yeah, I killed him, so what? You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Georgie. Get your hands off me! Look, the fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And you then attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this? So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. No deals. It's over, so get up. I'd advise against that approach, Big B. You can't just hand me over! What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us! For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I'd give a fuck if I'm the one... Who the shit do you think you fuckers are out the fuck out of I here? I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him! Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere! I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? I'm not going anywhere. This could have gone so well. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. <laughs>